Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're going to be taking a look at the Teotronics Bluetooth TTBH055s. So I will have a link in the description where you guys can purchase these from. These I did purchase off Amazon, I think I paid around $75 for them. So I'm first going to say that these are a V-shaped sound signature pair of headphones. They do have a nice, boomy, powerful bass. The highs aren't extremely crystal clear, but they're still pretty clear. Again, that's a V-shaped signature, so you've got the highs, you've got the lows, and then you've got the mids. Um, I recommend these for people who want to listen to everyday pop songs, um, electronic even, things with uh, pretty much a lot of bass. Pretty much your everyday type of music I would recommend these for. Now, I've been using these for jogging as well because they do have a nice tight squeeze as well as nice comfortable cups. I do sweat a lot in these, but on the other hand, they do give a nice good seal and a good hold onto my head. I do have a flatter head shape, which you'll see in just a moment. Uh, the cups on these are extremely comfortable. As you can see, the faux leather pads are the soft, very soft type. Um, we've got the right and left indicators here. You do have USB Type-C. I know you guys do like seeing that on a pair of um, Bluetooth headphones. These are Bluetooth 5.0, for those wondering. And you could connect these uh, with up to two devices, I believe, but it's a little hit or a miss. For example, I can have these connected to two devices and sometimes it just gets disconnected. It's not, it's not extremely, um, I would say, reliable but it's good enough for one device and you do have that option of connecting two devices. So look, it could just be the Bluetooth card in my computer, which isn't, uh, which isn't amazing. So you guys will have to let me know about that. But these are a really solid, good pair of headphones. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys some um, uh, feedback on the buttons now. So the, the buttons are actually very nice and tight. They're not the rubber type where you push down. I would have liked to have seen that, but they're not shaky like on the uh, Baltoons, which I do have here somewhere. Let me just go find them. I will be right back. So they're not like the Baltoons where you have a kind of a rickety type of buttons. Um, for example, the switch here, the, the ANC switch, which I will talk about in just a second, but these, these buttons are a little bit shaky, very, it's kind. It's almost unnoticeable, but it is noticeable if you pay attention to it. So, not like the Baltoons. The buttons are nice and tight. You have the volume up and down buttons, as well as the pair button and the ANC button. So unlike the Baltoons, which you had a switch, which I do kind of like, but you know, you do have an advantage when you're not using a switch, because if you do leave the switch on, it'll drain your battery completely and then you're pretty much screwed. You're left with no ANC. Whereas on this thing right here, it kind of goes into standby mode. So if you turn on ANC, you just hold that, it says ANC on and then it goes through the different modes. So you have, uh, you have office mode, you have travel mode. Okay, so I'm on travel mode right now. If I just push that. It goes into office mode and those are very two similar types of uh, noise cancelling uh, modes and then you have uh, uh, you have ambient no uh, ambient mode where essentially what that means is it'll take your outside uh, everything on the outside so if you're trying to listen to your outside environment it'll take that and it'll amplify it so essentially it's kind of like a microphone to your ears which is uh, handy especially if you're trying to listen um, if you're trying to hear what someone's trying to tell you or something, but then you do have that uh, You do have to go through that struggle of finding feeling out the ANC switch and uh, Trying to switch modes, so it's a little inconvenient or inconvenient. I, sh I should say um, But you again, you do have that mode which will allow you to do that So that's kind of nice and as well as if you're listening to music on the go 
and you wanna hear your outside environment as well. So if you're on a bus, you don't want that, you don't want that seal so that you can't hear anything on the outside, you can switch to ambient mode so you can hear the, um, the attendant on the bus or the train and you can hear your outside environment as well. So that's kind of nice. So again, for those that didn't hear me, these are a pair of Bluetooth 5.0 earphones. You do have an active noise cancellation, which is pretty, pretty damn good. I should say it's better than the Baltoons. So if you guys have ever been on an airplane, you get the type of sound in your ears where everything kind of goes blink. Um, how do I describe it? It's kind of like cabin, cabin noise. So you don't you don't you don't really get that with these Teotronics, whereas with the Baltoons, you do get that. The Baltoons, don't get me wrong, they do have very good ANC as well, but uh, these definitely beat the the uh, Baltoons with ANC. So you've got the ANC, you've got different modes with ANC, ambient mode. You also do have the USB Type C as well as a 3.5 millimeter jack. So if you wanted to use these without battery or if you ran out of battery and you still wanted to listen to your music, you just take your uh, 3.5 uh, millimeter um, cord, male to male, you plug it into here, you plug it into the other headphone jack if you do happen to have one. Uh, and then there you go, you've got sound. I should also say that the quality on these is pretty good too. It does feel very sturdy. You have a nice cushioning at the top here. During my time using these, and I again, I've used them for around two months, I didn't notice any discomfort, any bruising, any any pain in my ears or on my head. These are just, honestly, they're very, very comfortable and they're also very compact as well. You can take that and it comes with a case. Yikes, it comes with a case. I'm not gonna go through the whole unboxing process because I already unboxed it. And Probably lost all the stuff anyway, but it comes with a case It's a square case. It's not like the uh, It's not like the Baltoons case, which is nice and round So this is a little bit bigger only thing I'm not such a fan of honestly with with these Teotronics is the the styling so they're nothing fancy they kind of just look like this bulk um, What do you Basically, there's no fashion statement here, as opposed to like, let's say, the Baltoons, which are kind of a ripoff of the, um, I think, the Boses. As you can see, the Baltoons have some nice styling to them. So, if you wanted to make a fashion statement, these are not going to do that for you. But if you want a good pair of headphones, then you're looking at them at a good price. Hey guys, this is what the microphone sounds like on the Teotronics Sound Surge 55s. I'm using the Voice Memo app on my iPhone XR to record this audio. So as you guys just heard, that was the microphone on the Sound Surge 55s, and it wasn't very loud, but that is the sound that you can expect when you're talking to a friend of yours. That's the sound that they're most probably going to hear. Using the headphones away from my phone for an extended period of time, I would say around 30 to 20 to 30 feet away from my phone, I didn't experience any disconnectivity or anything of that sort. Um, the earphones do get relatively loud, as well as they do get very low. So they do simulate that dozing experience. So let's say you wanted to, so let's say you wanted to fall asleep or doze off. Um, these would get very low so that you can barely hear them, which is amazing. You don't really see that a lot with uh, with uh, wireless earphones. So I'm going to have to give these earphones a two thumbs up. I highly recommend them. These are my everyday go-to pair now that I've stopped using the Baltoons um, because the Baltoons just are kind of loose on my head. I mean, if you do have a larger head, they might stay on your head a little tighter. If you do have a larger head and you don't like that tight squeeze, then you might prefer the Baltoons. Both of these have pretty good sound on them for the price that you're paying. Uh, especially these, 75 bucks. Uh, you get the ANC, you get USB Type-C fast charging and all that. And uh, the battery on these does last for, I believe, 12 to 13 hours. I haven't really fully tested that yet. That's not really uh, what I'm uh, intending to do. Um, with these, I kind of just use them on the go, but you do get good battery life out of these. Anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it for my review video on these Teotronics uh, 
TTBH055s. If you guys did have any questions on these, please leave them in the comment section below. If you feel like I missed anything with these earphones, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to make a, another video on them. But as for now, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.